if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Martin Luther King. It's time to speak to the soul. Um, so I got into spoken word through rapping. Um, so it was the progression from rapping uh, into poetry. I think they're quite closely linked. Um, so for me, uh, I owe a lot to hip hop um, and kind of sticking to like a formulated 16 bar verse, but then just allowing the freedom of spoken word is what I prefer now. But I still like do both. Why do you think that spoken word has become so popular? Um, because it allows people to have a freedom of speech, but in a creative sense, I think. And everyone's kind of catching on to it now as well. It became like a, you know, probably an underground circuit, from an underground circuit to, you know, it's getting played on the radio now with background music and, you know, with featured artists. It's really interesting. Like, it's great to see something like that take off. I just hope it doesn't um, lose its unique side you know because it's like a personal thing for people to write stuff and put it out there so i hope that stays true and genuine i'm a singer songwriter as well so i try and integrate the two um so i'd really like just to keep helping push spoken word to more people because i don't know like i've seen so many people like where I, I sometimes end a set on a spoken word piece and some people are very captivated. Some people aren't quite there yet with the transition from music to spoken word. I'd quite like to just help that push the boundary slightly, I think, um, and really go off my experiences as a 24-year-old man living in London, uh, trying to make it as a creative. It's quite a competitive industry and just quite like work together, you know, like collaborate with lots of people. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd like to work with other people as well. And do you think you found your poetic style? Uh, it's very honest, it's very raw, it's very personal. Um, when you say raw, do you mean what do you mean by that? Uh, so raw, like things I've been through, experiences that are quite close to the bone for me. Um, but then, quite metaphorical as well, I try to uh, do it in a sense that allows people to relate to uh, without making it completely all about my like, heartache or whatever, you know, whatever, but uh, something that people can relate to as well. Um, I'm quite free-flowing. I think that's kind of important. How's it going, friend? I'm amazed that we're here. The sixth month for us written in the ninth of the year. To make it very obvious, I'll make it openly clear that at the moment I hate you, but it's always love, my dear. Half a year's a long time, that long away. I was happy to sit here, more than willing to wait. I hope you have fun tomorrow at Byron Bay, and if you recognise Kelly, I'll be flipping amazed, because I'm starting to doubt if what I said you ever listened to. I'm a man with doubts, but who the hell is this different you? Is this the punishment I get for everything I didn't do, like jumping on the next goddamn flight to come and visit you? My career is important, and I was building a future. For the people I love, us and soon to be junior. My career is important, I was building you a future. For my music and then a flipping house for the two of you. You left me without a single reason to end it. And now the money that I'd saved for us, I suddenly spent it. You talked to me like we could try being a family and as much as the fall hurt, I couldn't stand to carry you. As much as that hurt, four years together, but how much was that worth? You could have picked any week, but it had to be this one. Here's a letter from a broken Tom at six months. And I made a pledge that if I was ever to make it, I'd put aside the money I needed for my braces. For my self-consciousness is a form of hatred when you're a 24-year-old man with teeth that are covered in the matrix. But the fact really remains that, <clears throat> could I be accepted as an actor with train tracks? Surrounding my teeth like money to a made man, it's awful to believe that I think this, this will make me a great man. Because I'm scared to smile from some words that I heard. Someone should have sorted this out a long time ago. But I'm a grown man now, I better listen and learn that these things take patience and it's gonna take a little while, you know? I believe that a beautiful body is wasted supporting a face with no personality. It's been so long, and if it wasn't for Facebook, there's a worry in my head I might forget how your face looks. And imagine if these were the words they made the Bible from. 
Imagine the feeling of being in love with someone that you're frightened of. See, when you're on one side of the world and the one that you need is on the other one, mathematically speaking, half and half together would have the same one, right? But the truth is, said person is living a dream that rests on my pillow every night. I had every opportunity. I even took a gap year to make my dream come to life. Who the hell am I kidding? When you want something so, so badly and it's right there for the taking, you think it will be there in years to come for you sitting patiently waiting. This isn't the case. It will get further away. You can no longer run fast enough to chase it. And now I find myself in a relationship with a girl called Skype. Do you know how lonely that makes me? And if this is hard for you to relate to, I'll try and find common ground for us to level. You're late for work. You stare into the eyes of your boss who has the eyes of the devil saying, this is the fifth time this month. What makes you think you're so special? You're fired, kid. I can find someone within an hour who can stick to a schedule. But sir, you, you don't understand. Look, I promise I'm not making excuses. I tried to call Kathy on reception. She didn't pick up and I can prove it. I know I'm an hour late and my explanation may seem useless, but I was up all night on my newborn and I know you know how hard raising a youth is. Boss says, I'm sorry. Company procedure, I want you gone in five. You heartless... I'm waiting to reply. But the bigger man is there inside of me. Sir, thank you. Thank you for the ride. I know I've let you down, but you've shown me everything I need to make something in my life. And if a man on the streets has been homeless his whole entire life, has he ever been homeless? Because there was never one to lose in the first place. If you get mugged on the way to the jewelry store to buy a girlfriend a ring, would you chase him, tell the police, or do the exact same goddamn thing? Because through time to desperation, man has been known to be a violent thing. And I've had my fair share of problems through anger, alcohol, and depression, and that's why I choose to sing. It's called venting. We should all try it. The world, it might rotate better. We can unravel problems to see just how big they really are with a tape measure. And now it feels like my favorite habit is becoming a hindrance. My liver and my money organ are being damaged by binging. And surely it ain't a good sign if I sometimes fall asleep clinching my liver to keep on, to keep on living. But it's clear to me that abuse is a sore sight and I'll get more drunk than each and every one of you do in a fortnight. And that's not me boasting, that's just kind of how it is. A man who can no longer defend himself with the willpower that is powerless. I'm sorry if we shadows have offended. I had a problem with booze, but I wasn't dependent. And I really, from the bottom of my heart, hope that sinks in. A 24-year-old man, but I feel 42 because of drinking. And I'm guilty of not visiting my grandparents based on how far away they are. And now I'm desperate to say thank you. Happy birthday, I love you to their face and not in the form of a Hallmark card. And mum, please, please come back from Scotland. I need a woman to hold me and I haven't got one. God, I'd have died for you. I even tried to. Yeah, we differ in opinion on private school, but if that's what you prefer, then I would too. So does that mean I'm less of a man because I succumb to others' feelings or just a selfish attention seeker, West London platform and leave my mother reeling? I remember catching your eyes in the midst of last November. Your eyes were wild. I got that nervous feeling like I did moving from school to school as a child. Is it wrong to want to love and go off in search of it? Well, maybe in search of it, and let's just erase the hurting bit, okay? I never once forgot, and I don't like to hold grudges, but in regards to this list, the bucket's filled to the top. God, just give me something similar. I didn't realize that alcohol was killing us. Killing me, my liver needed room to breathe. Sometimes it takes a life-changing event or just watching your loved ones leave. I put my heart and emotions into music so there's no need to ask how I am. I came through something quite tragic. Am I now a man? No, would I like a hundred grand? Yeah, but not at the expense of being sad. You goddamn hypocrite. I hope you're smothered by your pillow. Oh, and I met a new girl. <laughs> she, uh, she looks a lot like a pixie, but way prettier. I get a resembling feeling from her, different to us, but similar. But d don't worry, babe, she's not looking to get involved in anything. We both know I fall for people way too easily. I want love more than anything. And one last thing, I'm, um, I'm occasionally back on the boobs. Only because I'm best mates with moderation. He's my number one and I've got his back too. And I still find it hard to listen to songs like the old times. I can't keep my head up in fear of being attacked by the walls at the old pines.